everybody, and welcome to Epic Awesome Cool Guy Baking Challenge. I am your host, Connor Rozeszewski, and I am super stoked to welcome our two competitors today, Jenna and Elise. Today's ingredient is legally ambiguous cookie snack crackers. Just f***ing say Oreos. Oreos! Without further ado, let the battle begin! Hi, I'm Jenna. Uh, I'm here because I genuinely love baking. Um, and I would like to win the Epic Awesome Cool Guy Baking Challenge just so I can go out there and say that I won the Epic Cool Guy Awesome Epic Challenge of Baking. So what I'm doing right now is I'm folding in the Oreos. <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but I'm mixing in Oreos. So. Um, hi, my name is Elise. Um, you may know me because I'm an artist and a singer and a dancer and an entrepreneur and a, like a dog walker. And I'm just um, really awesome. But something that you might not know about me is I actually have six Michelin stars. They gave me an extra one just because I'm so good. So I really want to win this competition so I can um, show the world how good I am at baking. Let's meet some of our judges, shall we? My name's Braden, and I like to eat. My name is Tony DeFrank, and before I became a famous steakhouse chef, I had a decently successful country rap album that has sold about 12, 15 copies. Uh, and I'm, I'm ready to be here. I'm ready to eat. My name's Sam. I'm from the local nudist colony. They told me to come over and eat, so I said, what the heck? And I'm here. Dish number one. All right. I'm ready to dig in. Ooh. <clears throat> How delightful. You know, we don't have desserts like this back at the nudist colony. Not often you come across something so delicious as this. <laughs> now I have to say, presentation, taste, this gives me, and I say this excitedly awaiting the next meal, a 10 out of 10. Now, before even going into the dish, I got to look at the presentation. You know, Ma back home always said the number one thing you got to remember when you're serving your guests is presentation. I really like how it, just a cookie. But I, I don't know if you can see that the little the little chocolate sauce right here. I don't. It, what's that called? Chocolate. Mousse. Chocolate. Chocolate. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a big old taste. Hold on. I was expecting it to be hard, but it's quite moist in the middle. Not too moist. It's not falling apart in my hand. But it's just the right amount. Let me try with the with the sauce. Beautiful. This is gonna be hard to follow up on. I agree. I'm gonna say ten out of ten. Alrighty, time to dig in. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, 
Sorry, guys. Mm. This, this is an excellent cookie. I, I see no problems with it. There was excellent presentation. The presentation had a little bit of utility with it as well. And the cookie was phenomenal. Great crisp, warm on the inside. I also got to give it a 10 out of 10. Dish number two. All right, well, I'm ready to dig into course number two. Oh, we got some worms. I'm going to show you a little trick from the nudist colony. This is what we do back home. We go outside, we get any sort of weapon this fork will do, and just a quick, quick jab. Catch the worm. Eat it right up. Right off the bat, a little hard to get into. All right. What can I say? If this ain't the best dirt I ever taste. I do have one complaint. This dirt here, it's a little, it's a little tough to break into. Now, I've not eaten much dirt in my time, but I would say that this is one of the tougher ones. And for that, I got to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Now, it seems as though we got some presentation masters. Because the presentation's beautiful. It, it's, it's, it's almost an art. You know, the worms and the dirt and such. Um, personal thing, I'm not a huge gummy worm type of guy. But you know what? I can be one over. You know, I'm more into steaks, but, you know, I, I know desserts too. So... You know, I'm just gonna just gonna break off a piece of this. Hold on. Well, like my associate said, it's a little hard, but you know, nothing nothing too crazy. Still a little tough to chew. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the fruitiness of the gummy worm and and the dessert of the brownie. I I like the presentation. It could be put in an art gallery, you know. But I I, I, I don't know. I, I I I like the brownie by itself, but the gummy worms are a, a big sort of loss to me. So I'm gonna give it. A seven out of ten. You know, I, I like the the creative decisions here to involve the worms in the dirt. I think it's a nice, nice little play on words here. Uh, all right, let's, let's give this a go. I find the mixture of the fruity and chewiness from the worm to be a nice complement to the brownie. I, I actually, I actually really like it a lot. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't have an issue with, with the hard edge uh, that my colleagues had. Um, I think that uh, I think I'm gonna give this a uh, nine point five out of ten. Hmm. I'll tell you one thing. All right, I I wasn't a huge fan of the gummies. I'm not, but that's just a personal thing. I I had the brownie by itself, and as I went through, it did get a bit more moist as I went towards the middle, and I think that's because. It's more more fudge brownie than than cookie, you know, uh, pertaining to the last dish. I'm gonna have to agree with you about the brownie, but where I come from, we eat worms all day. So for me, the worms were a plus. Well, let's talk about that cookie. That cookie. Oh. Now that was some delicious. Well, it was nice and crispy on the outside, but it was still chewy when, when you got to you know the, the thick of it. Had some I, perfect warmth too. Yeah, I really liked how it was just like the perfect consistency. Like, it, it wasn't too hard. It wasn't just falling in your hand like like oublet. But it, it, you know, it, it was perfect. I loved it. And, of course, who doesn't like Oreos? So, I, I loved the first dish. I loved it. <clears throat> oh! It is finally time to decide who has won the epic, awesome, cool guy baking challenge. Let's hear from our judges. Sam, what was your favorite dish? Well, I got to put in a vote for me and for all my nudists back home. We're going with the worms in the dirt. Tony, what was your favorite dish? You know, unfortunately, uh, some dishes uh, didn't pertain to my personal taste. Uh, so um, I'm going to have to go with dish one. Brayden, 
what is your favorite dish and the winner of the epic awesome cool guy baking challenge yeah this was this was a hard decision for me uh, i really liked both dishes a lot they both had a lot going for them uh, but in the end i think that the cookie edges out the dirt and the worms uh, as the new winner you heard it here folks jenna has won the epic awesome cool guy baking challenge thank you this is this is the, just the greatest honor of my life thank you for making me the champion of epic awesome cool epic baking baking guy challenge congratulations, congratulations. you did it